When you're in a courtroom facing charges, a judge or jury are in control of your fate, not you. But because of the 1999 Gladue decision, if you're an Aboriginal offender, you can now have a report written about the circumstances that help explain why you were there. Aboriginal people are in a system for a reason, and the Gladue reports and the Gladue decisions gave the courts the information on why they were in the system, how they got there in the first place. A pre-sentence report of this type uh, puts the whole offender before the court and not just the behavior that has brought them uh, to the attention of the authorities and gotten them charged with a crime. Uh, so that it gives, uh, paints a whole picture of the person, of their family circumstance, of, of uh, how they grew up, how they lived their life, uh, so that uh, this court can be sensitive to that context. Well, I believe it provides, you know, the history. You can start off as a young person and, and have that information as how it was for that person to grow up. Um, you know, events in their life that took place that which led to perhaps why, you know, this person offended. And so you need to do something to let judges know about the lives of the people that they're sentencing. And, you know, that's why Parliament did its sentencing reforms in in 1996. It's why the Supreme Court came up with its decision in Gladue. It's why those things were put in to try and get everyone involved in the system to stop for a second before they're sentencing someone and say, is there another thing we can do rather than just send this person back to jail? It provides, I think, you know, the systemic factors perhaps that had led to, you know, a lot of the history, the client's history, whether that be um, residential school or living in poverty. The courts need to know what intergenerational trauma is and how that plays out in the lives of Aboriginal people. So the court needs to know that information so then they can, the judge can say, I now have an understanding of why this person's here, what the issues in this person's life are. And then the second part to the process is to say, okay, now we know why the person's here. What options are there? So if we can have a, a sentence that's crafted for a particular offender, uh, that rehabilitates them and helps them with their life such as that, that we never see them committing crimes again, that benefits the justice system as a whole. The Gladue pre-sentence report is becoming a necessary tool in the court system. It's necessary for the courts to understand the value and uniqueness of Aboriginal people and to understand that in many cases there are systemic circumstances common to Aboriginal people. We must allow the Gladue pre-sentence report to give judges the necessary information about an offender's past so that a more educated decision can be made about their future. We must allow the report to influence courts to recognize improved options when it comes to sentencing. Let our journey begin.